Honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading Aries. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do Aries because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments as well. If you enjoy this reading or you just enjoy my vibe Aries, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe as well because it does help out my tarot channel a lot. And Aries, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. Uh, when it comes to my readings, remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Aries. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot cards here are just meant to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never really making the decision in your life because it, because it is your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards, Aries. So let's just get into your weekly tarot reading today. Aries. I also do did your bonus uh, uh, weekly reading Aries that I will leave a link to over here if you want to check that out. But I pulled some cards uh, for you Aries just so I could get an idea of what, you know, where you guys are currently at right now. So we have the Nine of Water for you or the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Air for you or the Seven of Swords the what is this ten of water for you uh or the ten of cups of course and then the page of earth or the page of pentacles so you guys are getting almost all the elements right off the bat no no wands cards um uh, how how are we figuring this out this is really good cards overall though here's the thing well, it depends you have three really good cards aries but then you have the seven of swords you have the Seven of Swords here, where it's kind of like, ugh, because is this an energy that you're feeling about this, about your financial and about your, um, just really overall, like your overall future. It kind of feels like for some you Aries, like a lot of things feel like they're up in the air. It's almost as if like you're looking in the mirror and you kind of see, you kind of are questioning as if like, something that you worked so hard on is it going to be coming crashing down or something that you have really wanted really like i keep on talking about what you really want because this nine of water uh being that wish fulfillment card and with this ten of water here that's that home life page of pentacles this is yeah dealing with financials um and just like personal life it's all about like your fulfillment so i don't know if you guys some of you aries are going through like a midlife crisis perhaps right um but we'll see right you could be coming out of this seven of air into this energy right uh that's my optimistic side speaking but y'all already know at this point aries i uh kind of have to uh <laughs> give out the blunt messages that need to be said so how do we even figure this out let me actually uh read off the seven of air because this is how we're going to start out start this out for you aries we have this card says plans that need revision more going on that meets the yeah, and poor timing. So mm, I do kind of feel like right off, like intuitively, Aries, I do get the impression that this is something that's encompassing uh, things where I don't know, especially with this page of earth, and this is me thinking out loud at this point, um, I don't know if there is like something that you wanted to do with that page of earth because you could see that as like a new stream of energy, like a new I will call it like a revenue stream, right? But it could be like just like doing a new move, essentially doing something, uh, changing things up or putting out like something that you normally uh, that you're contemplating. So <laughs> I'm trying to like the best way to describe this, but it's just like, a, you know, if you had like a passion or you really have thought about like doing a dancing competitively or getting into dancing, right? Something that you really wanted um starting to finally put energy into it maybe you told yourself like once you got to like x benchmark that you set for yourself that's when you would you take up dancing now with the seven of air here it's kind of like a uh hold off on that obviously 
replace dancing with like whatever it is for your life. But uh, let's get some clarifiers on this area. So y'all's reading right off the bat is, I can tell, uh, going to be my most interesting fire sign uh, uh, that I do this week, but don't tell the others. Uh, the clarifiers I pulled for you, Aries, for the seven of air, we have it with the page of pentacles. So honey, well, what did I say? My intuition was kind of right. The page of pentacles is the page of earth, honey. So this is what I was saying. You, were, This is the energy of uh, what it's encompassing. I shouldn't be being so like, Ooh, I, look what I was right. I was right. Just because um, this is not like a lovely situation to be in. There is just kind of the sense of uh, just unsureness, it feels. Let's see what else. Nine of swords. Yeah, anxiety attached to this. Um, and the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this, I mean, quite literally, Aries, if you were to look up these cards and just their own meanings, it goes along with the exact message that I was saying before of where is some of you guys might, I really do feel like it's some of you guys, Aries, are like questioning if this is like, uh, if this is like something that was like meant for you even because I keep looking at this nine of water here because I feel like this nine of water and plus with the ten of water as well like whatever the situation is that you're like I don't want to say you're coming to terms with because here's the thing like it kind of just shows like to me Aries like you're feeling super anxious about this it's almost like you're uh you're doubting yourself a little bit and for whatever your reasoning is you could just be dealing with a lot of stress right that has you just now like not seeing even like yourself clearly aries but uh i don't know man it's such a heavy energy it's such a it makes me wonder like what's going on for you aries that has you just in this state of really um doubting yourself because with this ten, nine of water and this ten of water whatever this new thing is with this page of pentacles this page of earth here that you really like Whatever you've been really considering putting energy into is like something happened that really like instilled a bunch of anxiety in you, instilled a bunch of doubt, right? And here's the thing too, the seven of pentacles is an interesting card to be getting with this because then that leads me to believe almost as if like, this is like almost this page of earth is branching off from something that you've already put energy into. Uh, Aries. Uh, so it lets me know, because like Seven of Pentacles, these are seeds that already have been planted, I see this as. And so when you have this Nine of Swords, the anxiety card, like straight up, like sleepless nights, uh, questioning your purpose, uh, Aries, pa paired with this Page of Pentacles, it's almost like one of these seeds you're having anxiety about for whatever reason. So it's just like a thing that I'm noticing, but man heavy 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 so um whew. <laughs> so now i guess we can get into this nine of water for you uh aries this is the card of your wishes coming true concerns fading away and the love life so it does encompass either or whether it's an opportunity or whether it's um a person Honestly, give me a moment, Aries, because I don't even know if we need to continue too much further into these messages, because I feel like those clarifiers kind of like covered a lot, don't you think? Because I'll read off the Ten of Water for you as well, since I kept on referencing it. The Ten of Water is talking about that um, family life, a contented and rewarding family life, your emotional needs are met, and material needs, uh, and trustworthy relationships. So yeah, this is all just dealing with like where I'm seeing an Aries right now, just having some anxiety currently about one of their seeds that they've planted. And seemingly, I don't know if this is like a seed that like, um just you put like a bunch of your eggs into this basket or something aries because it's like i'm seeing this as like hardcore like an aries going through some type of crisis of some sort mentally just trying to uh take this all in so it's just like uh, uh what's going on here aries so we kind of identify that what it is that you're going through pretty heavy stuff don't you think so now uh, I do kind of want to see how this is going to like play out, see where the direction of things are going. That is, we'll say, Aries, because nothing is set in stone when it comes to the future. But, you know, we can tap in to see like what, you know, if, we, if things continue the way that they are, right? Uh, what is this going to look like for you, for my beautiful Aries? I feel like pulling four cards for you, Aries. I normally only ever do um, 
three whenever I do extra cards. Uh, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like number four is just as the right number for you. Even I would, I might even go as far to say Aries that, uh, kind of want you to uh, write down the number four for numerology this week and see how that correlates. I have a fairly good idea what it means, but I don't want to, uh, not like refrain from that. <laughs> just look it up, honey. I, <laughs> you'll get a lot more detail, so. Anyways, the cards that we have of how this situation is what it's looking like. We have the Six of Cups for you, the Six of Wands, this is good. Six of Wands, the Knight of Wands, there's all this Wands energy, there's that passion, honey, and Seven of Wands, all Wands, honey. You know, I started at the reading, first I identified this reading where it's just like, oh, there's no Wands here. You know, I didn't really like go too much detail into it because normally it doesn't matter, but it's like, I just noticed there's just no passion, honey. It almost has felt like your current situation right now is you feel as if like your light or your flame is just like dying and it's just like flickering on, on its like last leg. If you, if flames have legs. And so now, you know, we pulled some cards about where is this direction, this energy, this situation going. Um, once we identified what was causing your flame to be small, right? To the point where you weren't able to even see your flame. Uh, now we get all your flames, right? We get all these wand cards, all the passion cards. And notice you didn't get any of the heavy cards, uh, wand cards either. You didn't get the 10 of wands. You didn't get the five of wands, right? You got the really passionate, like you got the victory cards, right? Um, so how are we going to break this down? When you have the six of cups here, this is something... Yeah. You know, we're, I'm going to I'll tell you the meaning of it, Aries, first. And I'll tell you intuitively kind of where I feel like this is all correlated. Uh, the Six of Cups is usually the uh, card that is representing like an, a gift being offered, right? You see an exchange happening between these two, uh, right? With the Six of Cups. But something I also want to say and point out is with the Six of Cups is usually it's talking like it can also imply... Um, some type of uh, like past connection um more so that there's history here right so like this could be like a sense of like romanticizing how things used to be with somebody or stuff like that more so it just in, uh, signifies as like a something that you have history with right and so to me this is kind of like and now i'm going back to those that some of the pentacles from before uh that we had for you Aries, this is showing to me because I was always like I was saying I was like what like why is Aries being so like heavy on this? And I feel like this is whatever the situation was that you were having issues about. This has been like a long like you have some history with the situation with this person, and that's why it's was so and it is so stressful and anxiety inducing for you right now is because of this card. So that kind of answers my suspicions uh, for that. Um, and so we identify that with being the Six of Cups and just an overall good card. Um, I say Six of Cups. Um, <laughs> I'm just now realizing that I was saying this entire hand was all Wands cards, but still that emotion. But my point still stands, honey. Uh, then we have the Six of Wands for you. So this is the card of victory, public recognition. This is a, an extremely good card to have in any reading, but perfect for for you what you would want to hear, uh, Aries, because it's showing to me victory and like um, almost like a, a things like coinciding and working out, right? At the very sense in uh, in in a way that we could put it is where it's like you get closure with the situation, so you no longer have anxiety over it. Victory on your side, right? But what does that victory on your side at least look like, right? Because just because you get that closure and victory on your side of things, that doesn't mean the other side, if there is an other side to be had, um, it's the same thing, right? You know, just being real, not keeping it as completely optimistic. Um, the But the Seven of Wands here uh, really refines the message and confirming that it's just like a card of, I see this as like um, coming together and like working together as a group. Um, because this is the card where it's like all eyes are um, kind of... <laughs> 
notice with both the six of wands and the because the six of wands is like public recognition like lights being shined on something right and the seven of wands is kind of like a part of like all eyes being on you aries so i kind of get the sense here that whatever it is i kind of see this as like a if we're going to just make up a scenario to relay the messages for this it's almost like uh situation with the person that you've had a long-term uh, situation with right you things come to light a conversation is had uh, and then after that conversation uh, that inspires you to like going forward um, you know if in terms of like a passion project you know like going and working together on some type of project right because then you have the knight of wands where it's all forward movement you're and that's the thing i want to point out as well is is like all wands represent that forward movement and you got all of them attached with your six of cups of course um which is just like an overall no matter which way you twist and turn it and what have you it's a positive card all these cards the no matter which way you look at it whether it's an optimistic way or like even like the most like strict way you want to look at it aries all your cards are very um positive like a pretty extremely positive outlook so um that's exciting to think about don't you think aries uh so i like that i like that but do we want to even consider that the blessings that are coming in your way that are in the works? I kind of don't, Aries. I feel like that situation, that's its own thing. That's kind of like you are kind of just like coming up at the end of a um, long term, like a long cycle, especially with that Six of Cups. It lets me know it's some, probably like some type of a long cycle, it's some type of obstacle that you've just been going through. I don't want to really consider that one of the blessings that are in the works for you, anyways, at least personally. So let's just pull some tarot cards now to uh, see uh, what blessings are actually in the works for you. Here it is. This has been such a pleasant reading, though. Um, it started out really heavy, but. I'm pretty positive about how things are going. So let's look at this. So notice how I was saying, like, or just like, I think I even like corrected myself when I was saying, um, you guys closing out cycles or whatever, like it's been a long term like thing that you've been going, uh, that you guys are trying to come out of areas and uh <laughs> the blessings coming is kind of confirming this you have the death and rebirth card this is almost like pressing the reset button on something either like the reset button on something where you're just completing something you kind of uh you know if you're going to view this as like a uh as like a board game you completed like some type of objective that you've been needing to um go through so whatever that situation is um that you came to get that closure with right it really unlocks like forward progression for you in like a very big way not just progression in the sense of being like you know something that is just like measurable but just progression in the sense of where it's just like now that you completed this aspect over here everything else that starts coming forward to you just comes at a much more accelerated rate um, but also just comes a lot easier for you because there's a lot less resistance going on now in Aries. With this Three of Wands here you are finally identifying like I know it's me saying like you identifying your calling I feel like this might be a little bit dramatic to say but it's almost like now Aries you figured out your flow of how you want to take your steps going forward now maybe up until this point Aries uh, you weren't really confident, you were kind of just like clumsily like walking along and not really uh, feeling confident in your walk. And now it just feels like there's a lot more confidence uh, in your walk and a lot more assurance in what it is that you're doing because you, I don't know, there's just something different about you after this situation that finally came into completion for you. Aries and two of cups right no matter which way you want to turn this Aries like again you, you keep getting positive cards you keep getting these cards you know if there's like a situation in terms of like a person right there's a card of reconciliation you guys are like holding hands right this could be a card of when it comes with love right this is just a, whatever way you want to put this love opportunity whatever your story ends beautifully right you know for my areas that are not new to my channel 
channel, I always will say like your story gets so much better and your reading quite confirms this series. Right now, you may be at this place of being extremely anxious, extremely in your head and just not really sure where to go and how about how to do, how to go about doing things and just not really overall just overall doubting yourself but as you go through this experience what it is that you're going through is i see it working out very beautifully for you so i know easier said for me for me to say it's just like stop feeling anxious about something when i'm not the one going through it but um just know i from what i'm seeing what it is that you're going through through some just through some tarot cards honey you guys are doing pretty good but uh yeah anyways that's the cards that i have for you for this week if you enjoyed this tarot reading be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards are and how uh and i do all the zodiac sign reading weekly readings for all the zodiac signs rather aries so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not send them their zodiac sign video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them until next time though aries i love you so much